the first messengers have rolled into camp. They're reporting few casualties. We've struck a mighty blow against the forces of Mordor aligned against us. Let it be so, and not fools idle chatter. Hagedorn, what news? <laughs> they say we've won a monumental victory. You'll not be needing all that Athelis you've been grinding, my friend. Few need healing on this day, and more's the wonder. They say the Golden King has brought back a prize. Sauron himself, they're in the heavy chains. It's all right. And what do we get? More war! More taxes! Ha! Human sacrifice in the town square! You can hear the screams all day and all night, and we're made to worship this, this hideous thing! The great tree kindling! The king's ears filled with rubbish from his, his advisor, the great chain wonder Sauron, now princely Sauron. Island Hell is right! Numenor is ruined. Boats can't take us away from this channel house fast enough! This kind of rock is very rare. It comes from the volcano. There. Now, Doom is a foul place, angry and mean. It will explode when Sauron is near and plotting, spitting all manner of foulness into the air. Smoke and dust and rocks that burn the ground. It does this as a warning. I will not stay silent for long. Sort of like your mother. Don't tell your mother, is it? So this rock is... It is a rock, nothing more. And you needn't be afraid of a rock or doom, which is silent to this very day. And sweetie, if you need a lesson from all this, why, well, here's a fine one. Even a foul place like that volcano can produce beautiful things. Everything in New Doom. The thing tears the land up. Then the slaves pick through everything. Clay and mud go to the kilns. If they find metal, that goes to the forges. Anything they can use, they take back. And if they find an old weapon or piece of armor, they hand it off to the Urukai, the bigots. Maybe to study, maybe to wear. I don't know. They're on the move for sure. We must know what is happening in Mordor. We have other eyes there, but yours are sharp. You serve us well. You will return there and report back. The Council must not learn of your actions. Do not get caught. in jail for a reason. For saying what we're all thinking. You want to live forever? Plow in this field? The elves lord it over us. Don't they just? Sauron's right. We can live without pain. Without growing old. And you want to go to war to make that happen? I want the king to listen to good ideas. Well then, he should have nothing to do with Sauron. Fighting with the elves is not a bad idea. It's the worst idea imaginable.
Stop! Do not move! By order of Gondor, trespassing on the Moranin is punishable by death! Ugh. Do not... A woman? The outcasts now send women alone to steal from us. Do your worst, Ranger, but I will fight. You were but skin and bones. I can still fight. Gather what you can and run. Quickly, before the others see you. Shouldn't be led to starve. Quickly now. Go! Go! Sound it out now. Fear no. Fear no. Why must you put me through this, Hirgon? There's no one to blame but yourself. You begged me to teach you the words in my books. I regret that now. What use is the page here in Mordor? Here, look at this. It's a note for you. My love. Be my knife. Try again. Knife? Or... Wife. I am yours. Are you a Thelus or Hithlus? I can't find anything in this almanac. Sure. Cheers. Now I wait. This will either cure my fever, or I'll be dead in seconds. It shan't do either. You'll need to ground it up for its healing properties. You? The outcast woman. I'm Erin. I never got to thank you, Ranger. There are but few of your kind on the Black Gate. Duty clouds kindness in these parts. That's why I deserted. I'm here gone. You've let me into your homes. You've let me into your lives. And now you bestow upon me your greatest honor. Though I come from the Black Gate, though I was once known to you as the enemy, I turn my back on Gondor. You people, you outcasts as you've been named, are people of honor, people of strength. I have found love within your tribe, and for your tribe as well. And you have taught me of a life I thirsted for, but never knew existed. Now it is my time to teach you. I will impart to you all my knowledge of war. And the orcs push us, but we will find strength and push back. And this land will be ours! Dear Hirgon, I hide outside the camp and pray they do not find me. They are taking anyone they find into slavery. If only you were here. But I know you must fight the Uruks, or there will be no chance any of us will ever be free. I fear I will never see you again. If they find me, I do not know how...
Sir, the situation is very confused. How is it confused? I see the prisoners escaping, running towards the gates, which seem to have blown open by sorcery or sabotage. Archer, stand down! Sir, we're not wasting good arrows on those people. They've served their purpose. They're damned. They're damned well out of my hair. Mordor can take the whole stinking lot of them. And send my compliments to the captain of the gates. I suppose he sent me this lockpick as some sort of joke. so brave now, are you? Hold him, boys! Get your filthy ends off me! It's simple, see? Do unto others quicker in order than they do unto you. But at least you tried. Next time, try harder. This is going to hurt a lot. But you'll learn who's in charge. No! Not an old Scorchy! Anything but old Scorchy! Ah, it's never good news. Yeah, I saw two and he didn't. All right, you stick and rot. Shut your guns! Shut it! That's some terrible news here. Terrible! Once again, the filthy humans sided with the dwarves, who had help from those sanctimonious bastards, the elves, who were rescued by me. And I am not making this up. The damn giant eagles to slaughter thousands of our brethren in what we should all be calling the battle to unfairly gang up on the orcs. Our lands get invaded, our chieftains killed, and our people murdered. Where does it end? Well, I tell you, it ends here, and it ends right now. They can't stop the march of progress. They can't stop us! came in from the road with a hard look in their eyes, as if they traveled too far and seemed too much. They were wizards, true, both of them caked in dust. And when one had talked, he'd stop to think, and there would be the other to finish right up, like they had one brain and two mouths. It was creepy for sure, but neither seemed to notice. I heard them say they were hunting in the darkness. And if I know if they found it. But I guess those fellows can find trouble when they're looking for it. All right. Hold still. I'm afraid to say it's going to... going to hurt. I've done all I can. We've called for one of your people, but I don't... In the meantime, why don't you tell me about that? The medallion you're holding. You just want to distract me. Very well. These are the two trees of Valinor. A symbol of the endless cycle. Life, death, and rebirth. Come closer. And I will tell you their tale. We must... I feel we must distract ourselves from the grim happenings of this day. I'm sorry. His wound was too great. I had thought... You stayed with him. It is enough. Here. He'd probably want you to have it. It's broken, but... No, human. You keep it. 
These are ancient things, those trees. We watch them wither and die with the cold, but always they return. We see strength in their roots and hope as they stretch into the light. Let this token remind you of the elf you tried to save, of the bond between your people and mine. seem to be following me. I can't hardly go nowhere without them buzzing around. I was going to scout Tower Bond, a slave city. The Orcs got a prison there, and enough people in chains to run the mines and the mills and make the city go. But there it was. One stinking fly. I could hear it buzzing, but couldn't see it or squash it. Thing was following me, I swear. What was that all a skip? middle of the Sea of Nurm, and the fly was coming along for a ride, like it knew, following me like all the time. <laughs> I can't get the buzzing and humming to stop. It don't matter whether I'm sleeping or eating or squatting. I can hear them. They're in my damn head. <laughs> Make up stop! someone watching over Queen Marwyn at all times. I am afraid she may do harm to herself. Now go. Mother, what is happening to you? Is this gift worth the price you are paying? The end of darkness is worth whatever price. Such is the spirit of Nurnan Nitharia. Nurnan needs you, Mother. These visions do not bring us enough benefit to befit your loss. But they do, my child. I have seen a vision of the Ringmaker, Keller Brimboy himself. It is through him alone that Noonan may be saved. like a mule who's gotten into the rock garden. It's a fine anniversary present. And look at the craftsmanship. Our anniversary was last week. It was brought in from the sea. You mean you won this at the tavern? My husband. Get in the house. Keep sharpening. You've got to hone your axe until its edge can split one of your beard hairs in two. Oh, it's sharp enough to kill a grog. Now pass me the pipe. Sharp enough ain't what the hunt's about, little brother. You've got to learn to respect the hunt. A keen blade for a clean kill. Without respect for the beast, we're no better than the orcs. Now, let's give her a taste. For Durin, give a dwarf bear warning when your young hair's from his beard. Look at this, Torvin. <laughs> Split the hair in two. There's hope for you yet. There, it's finished. A true masterwork. What a fine carving. The front, I etched us killing this here Mumak. And the back, our next prize, the mighty Grog. A beast like that is a hunter's legacy. Sh show me the carving. <laughs> Isn't it magnificent? Such detail. Look at me striking the mighty beast. Blood everywhere. And why am I etched running away from the Mumak in terror? Artistic license, Brother Torvin. If you want to be the hero, I suggest next time you make the carving. Be 
grateful with the pouch drawn of it. It almost went in the fire. Wow, that old thing. Time to get rid of that rag. It barely keeps the pipe weed dry. It is a rag, brother. And I'll keep this souvenir from our first hunt till it turns to dust. Remember us tracking that great spider through Mirkwood nearly 60 years ago? Then drawing her out using live bait. Yes, but why do I always have to be the bait? You have a quality. You make things want to kill you. It's a gift, really. But Torvin, this was your first kill. Ours together is what made you a hunter. And I'll treasure it always, brother. Here have an ally in the stinking flies. Mordor has its share of sniffs, and I had thought the flies were just getting their fill. But they're moving and attacking like one. Like they got a brain. I've tried to avoid them. They build nests everywhere, and you can hear them buzzing all the time. The horse here has seen the worst of the pests, except, of course, when getting stung by them. The orcs say they're spies. But who are they spying for? They aren't yours, are they? By the white waters of the river Unween, by the colours so many they burn bright, may none and now look to Marwen. To my gift of second sight, may the elements of earth, fire, air form gateway to worlds unseen. Spirits of Valinor, hear my prayer and grant great power new to the shores, Queen. corrode you, and what medicine we still have is fast done away. My visions are the hope of Nurnen. If I must sacrifice myself for my people, so, so be it. What happened in the Grey Mountains, Mother? What happened, Lothario? <laughs> I left with the strength we need. Who wants a word? This sack of dog might know where his thief powers are hiding. Strip him down. Take the ring, too, and give it to the boss. He likes that stuff when he wakes up. Time we've grown used to seeing them, but the shorter one had grown cold, distant. He could read the leaves, the lines in a man's hand, the bumps on his head. He could see, you know? And I guess it got to him, the knowing. They'd go off together, and you could tell when they met up with the orcs, the sky would darken, and there would be hail, 
will rain. The winds that shook the trees. And then, sure enough, everything would clear. They never spoke about any of that. Although we'd always want to know. Best not, they'd say. The two left without saying a word. Only it was funny lying. Because the shorter fellow left behind all his maps and the odd little board he used to see into the future. Traveling light, maybe. Or maybe... I don't know. Maybe you thought he'd have no more use for it. Thing that they told us their names plenty of times, but we all forgot. To a man, we forgot. It was like they didn't want us remembering. After a while, they were just the two Istari, and sometimes the big one and the little one. I can't say how I can't remember. I remember the bigger one telling us stories of a goblin city, of a man who could turn himself into a bear, of the time when, well, I guess it didn't matter too much to him that some of his stories needed some cleaning up or would scare a dead man out of his grave. When the bigger one left, he took his cane but he left a walking stick behind with all these little notches cut into it. He was keeping track of something for sure. You don't want it. I didn't say that, Captain. But how about a few less of these and a little more of that elvish cloth you brought over from Eregion? I, I think we can do that. I can't imagine which is worse. And we're thin on the ground here. Two regiments worth called back home. Maybe a dozen more down with the sweats. Maybe even more than that. And I don't think we can hide it anymore, no matter how they change up the patrols. The orcs may have already smelt it out, too. They're getting uppity and mordor. Here, look at this. Ah, that's quite a blade. Where'd you get it? Off an orc scout. I expect he won't need it anymore. 
You keep it. The orcs are making things mighty difficult. This might be my last one in a long while. My wife and I, we need to be elsewhere. The lockbox, open it, now. Why? These are hard times. I need to know you can pay. Up front. Well, no. That's hardly enough for both. We've always... That's all I have. Please, my wife. You should have saved more. Now, room for one on the boat. You decide. the whole raiding party and ate the flag. See the webs? It's spiders. Filthy creatures. Likely coming up from the valley down south. We should clear it out. You should shut your big yap. Don't nobody come back from that place. Wonder if they're working for Sheila. Sauron used to feed her, and I guess she don't remember whose pet she is. It might be time for a reminder. Thank you. 